Hey guys, welcome to Cyber with Vic. In this video, we will be installing Windows 11 on our Mac M1, M2, and M3 devices using VMware Fusion Pro for personal use. If you already have VMware Fusion Player or VMware Fusion Pro for personal use, uh, feel free to skip this next section in the video. So let's register an account with Broadcom. So first let's go to register. I'm gonna enter our email here. You wanna enter uh, whatever text you see here. And at this point, you wanna to go to your email and grab your uh, two-factor verification code. All right, so enter your two-factor code, verify and continue. Here you can just enter any information you'd like accept the terms and then you are ready to create your account. From here, just for the purposes of this video, uh, we're just going to say we'll do this later. We've already registered successfully. And now we have an account. We have a Broadcom account. So now we can install VMware Fusion Pro for personal use. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm going to provide this link in the description. Um, but in this on this web page here, we have our VMware Fusion Pro download. It's going to take us right to Broadcom, and then we're going to enter our new Broadcom account details. We're going to enter our password here. So this is going to redirect us to the download page for VMware Fusion Pro for personal license, which is the one we want. We're going to select this. On the versions here, we want to select the newest version. So here we have the newest version. It's going to redirect us. And here's our download. Uh, first, we have to agree to the terms and conditions here. And then there's a screening required here. So first, we're going to click this screening required button. You want to click yes, I'll proceed. Additional verification is fine. And then you want to add some personal details here. Um, in order to submit it and be able to access the download. Okay, so now we've entered that information and now we should be able to download. So we have our HTTPS download here. Now we just need to wait a few moments. Our download has started. All right, so navigate to your downloads folder uh, and double click uh, your downloads file here. And then it mentions here to double click to install. We're gonna do just that. Here we have our warning, VMware Fusion is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we do. Enter your administrator password here. Wait till it initializes. Okay, now here we have VMware Fusion. Uh, and then if we go to our VMware Fusion menu here, we go about VMware Fusion. We have VMware Fusion professional version. 13.5.2, license for personal use only, which is exactly what we want. All right, so now that you have VMware Fusion installed on your system, you want to navigate to File, New, and then you'll get this pop-up here. So to start off, let's click Get Windows from Microsoft. Select so Continue here, and we are good to continue. And then here for our Windows Edition, we want to select Professional, and we will be using the English language here. So we're going to select Download Windows. So here we were actually downloading the Windows 11 ESD file from Microsoft, and you'll see in a second um, that this is going to be downloading the ISO file that we're going to be using um, to create our Windows 11 VM. This does take some time, so I'm going to speed this up uh, so you guys don't have to wait while this downloads. So here we can see that our Windows 11 ISO was created, and it is stored uh, in our file path shown here. So now we can continue. For our firmware here, uh, our boot firmware, we can uh, leave UEFI as our uh, default here. And then for our password for encryption, we're gonna select only the files needed to support a TPM. Um, we're gonna auto-generate our password. And here we can see our password. Um, this is also stored in your keychain. If you want to save this password, you can, you can save it in a password manager if you'd like. So now we're gonna select continue, carry on here. 
and our virtual disk here, we're creating a new one. We'll leave this uh, as default. And here our hard disk space is 64 gigabytes. You can always change this later. We're gonna select continue here and we are going to select customize settings. Here we are going to name our, uh, here we're going to save our device name as Windows 11. Select save. And then here we have our settings here. So here we can go to process, processors and memory. Um, here we have our CPU cores. So generally, a good rule of thumb is to not give a VM more than 40% of your host's resources. So depending on how many CPU cores you have, you don't really want to give your VM anything higher than 40% of what your host has. And the same goes for memory. So for here, I'm not running anything very intensive on this VM, so I'm gonna keep the default of two processor cores and memory. You can also uh, change this if you'd like. Uh, we can navigate to our hard disk space here, and this is that 64 gigabyte value you saw earlier. If you wanna reduce your hard disk space or increase it, you can always do so here. I'm gonna keep mine with the default 64 gigabytes. So now we have our settings configured here. We're going to close out of here. So here we will press the play button here, go full screen, press any key on your keyboard to boot in. As you can see here, we have our standard Windows 11 setup. So here we'll install uh, English as our language and time and currency format, that's fine. Our keyboard input method we'll leave as US. Here we'll install Windows 11. We'll agree to the message here. Here we don't have a product key. So if you do have a product key, you can enter it, but we do not. So we're going to say, I don't have a product key. We're going to select Windows 11 Pro here. Continue. And we're going to accept the license terms here. We're going to select our unallocated 64 gigabytes of space and select next here. All right, so now we're ready to install. We can select install. Now we will uh, wait for this to load. I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to wait along. Here we can see our PC is restarting here. All right, so here we are taking to our setup screen. We're going to select United States as our country, select yes. Uh, for our keyboard layout, we're gonna use US and we're gonna select yes. We're going to skip adding a secondary keyboard layout here. We're going to name our device here. We'll call it Windows 11. Select Next. We want to select Setup for personal use here. Select Next. So here it's gonna ask us to sign in with a Microsoft account to link to our VM. So we don't have a Microsoft account uh, to sign in. So to avoid having to sign in, we're gonna do our setup process offline. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. Here we're gonna minimize our screen here. And we're gonna to go to our Wi-Fi symbol here and just turn off your Wi-Fi here. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to press Shift F10 on your keyboard. That's gonna pull up the command prompt here and you wanna enter the following command. O-O-B-E Bypass N-R-O. This is out of box experience. And here we wanna bypass N-R-O. Here our VM is going to restart after we press enter. So 
So now we're going to go through the same process as before. So we're going to go uh, United States for our country. We're going to select US as our keyboard layout. We're going to skip our secondary layout. It's going to say, let's connect you to the internet. We're going to say, I don't have internet. It's going to ask us to enter our name. And you can optionally create a password for your virtual machine. So when you uh, pause or start up your virtual machine, you have to enter a password. This is an optional step. Personally, we are not going to enter our password. So here we are going to choose to disable all of these uh, privacy settings. So we don't want find my device on, we don't want location services on. So we're going to just disable all of these. We're going to press accept. So as you can see here, we have booted into our new Windows 11 virtual machine. And there's just one more step that we want to complete here is we want to install VMware tools. And VMware, VMware tools just makes our experience with our VM, uh, whether it's resolution and having the required drivers for it to function properly, makes everything much more smooth. So let's go to virtual machine here, install VMware tools. Here we'll select install. So here's telling us that the DVD drive, uh, D drive is mounted here. So we can go to our DVD drive here, double click the setup file here, accept the UAC prompt here. Here we're going to go through the installation wizard here. Here the typical install is perfectly fine. We'll select install. Here we can see our VMware tool setup is complete. We're going to select finish. It's going to ask, it's going to tell us you must restart your device for the configuration changes. To take effect, we're going to select yes. Here we didn't configure our password, so we just auto log in. Feel free to turn your internet back on as well. And here we have it. So we have VMware tools installed. We have our new Windows 11 VM. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful.